Okay, so on the last little broadcast to the motor, we've put the turn on speed down from 50 to 14 RPM. Right. So obviously from a very slow wheel revolution, it, it will start switching. kicking on. Um, the base activation current we've left as it is standard for the time being, but again we can try putting that up a little bit, yep. so that hopefully that way, it uh, scares the hell out of me when they come round that corner, so you can't see heads. Um, so yeah, when it does activate, it will just give him just that little bit more of a, a boost to, right, to get yeah. more speed on. The torque sensor value, so the amount of pressure you've got to put through the cranks, I've turned right down as right, well. Yeah. Um, also the delay, so from the point where it's receiving all the relevant information to actually give you the, the, the assistance, turn that speed, uh, or made it much faster to react as well. Um, I have to put the turn off delay, so he should get assistance a little bit longer past stopping mm. pedalling. Um, a little bit yep. further on, yep. um, and then the other two there won't really have too much of an effect on, on how we're, we're trying to set the motor up here today. Right. Um, but as I say, we've still got um, a little bit more room we can play with on the base activation current, and we can also put the turn on delay a little bit further down as well, just in case you want mm. to have it a little bit so more. It's quite, quite the adjustment to the situation. <laughs> Here, we want to connect to the bike, single motor lock, automatic search, press the start button, and now we're getting voltage and temperature in the motor there, so that's everything communicating as it should do. We then come up, adjust the sliders, the turn on speed is at 15, base current at 6. There we go. Uh, turn on value, you want down at 3. Turn on delay, nice and short. Oops, a bit too far there. And on 3 as well. Turn off delay, we just increase slightly for the chat. And the others stay the same. So now to broadcast that, we simply press the button. That's now sent the information through, and there's no cable at all from the bike to the computer. Simple as that. So once we want to restore that, press the restore button, everything goes back to normal. I'll be broadcasting it.